Stalker loaders aren't too complicated. This design here is pretty commonly seen, and I do believe only works in Java Edition due to some quasi connectivity with the piston here, but the way I'm going to break it down here should help you understand how it works. There's plenty of other videos showing how to build it block by block, Shulkercraft specifically has some great videos, and other videos about other farms and redstone contraptions too. Big shout out to them. So what we've got here is a container, being read by a comparator which we know will tell how full it is, and we're looking for when it gets completely full, meaning it'll give a signal strength of 15, into this block, which will power this piece of dust. But it's being powered from this block here, which has a signal strength of 15, going down to 14. So this will always be at 14. It can never get higher unless this box is completely full, so we only get a pulse from this observer when this completely fills up. So that way we only have something happen when it fills up just as we want it to. Then the signal gets sent through this hopper, It'll actually get locked by the redstone pulse and then unlock, giving us two pulses. So this observer will then fire, and this one down here will as well. This one up here will actually activate the piston and break the shulker box, pushing it forward into this space above the hopper. The comparator will leave some space so the item can actually fly into there and end up in our chest. And the other signals that send downwards will send some more empty shulker boxes along and up into place. We'll break this one and actually place one down here that I've got that's almost completely full. We can take a look into it here and see that it's got most of the items there. Now, when we get everything on there, items will start flowing down from the top, and when it fills up and we get a signal strength of 15 here, we can see it'll push along, and it should send out another shulker box. Been having some issues here, where I think we actually need to load this up with a few extras beforehand. So, now when we put this in here, it should just work no problem. We put more shulker boxes into here, so they'll flow along and go into the dispensers as we need, and the items up top are what we want to be shoving into the boxes. Then they'll just end up down here. So you can actually build this right next to each other without any kind of interference thanks to the redstone signal strength being a value of one difference that we need to. So even if we had the same kind of setup right next to it, they wouldn't actually interfere with each other at all aside from when you set it up of course. We'll see the signal strength actually is the only thing that matters, but because this is 14, 15 here, it can't actually get any higher either way. So a signal strength change here won't even change that at all either, making this completely tileable too. Leave your redstone questions in the comments and subscribe for more daily tips. Join the Discord too to see when streams are and to download this world. Help support me on coffee if you can too. Peace.